From Lagos State Command, we moved to Kanu State Command. In our last episode, we brought you various reformation and rehabilitation programs provided for inmates in Lagos State Command in preparation for their reintegration into the society. In this episode, we shall be focusing on Kanu State Command and its activities geared towards providing a second chance for offenders in custody to rebuild their lives. The state, like others, put inmate reformation and rehabilitation agenda in the center of the administration. Section 14, subsection 1 of the Nigerian Correctional Service Act 2019 states that the Correctional Service shall provide opportunities for former education, vocation as well as training in modern farming techniques and animal husbandry for inmates. This has continued to be the focus of the Controller General of Corrections, Ali Runababa, in the last two years of his stewardship. The need to have a befitting facility where offenders can truly be rehabilitated led to the vision to have a 3,000 ultra modern custodial center in the six geopolitical zones of the country. The project commenced in 2018 in Jenguza, Kano State, with a groundbreaking ceremony performed by the then Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Abdurrahman Bello Dambazao retired. The construction of the facility took up to five years before completion. First of its kind in the history of the service, the 3000 Ultra Modern Custodial Center Jangoza is built to house all classes of inmates, both male and female. The former Minister of Interior, Ogbeni Raufa de Soji Aregbeshola and the Controller General of Corrections, Ali Runababa, express your opinions on the new facility. The custodial complex in Janguza, the 3,000 high capacity, high capacity custodial complex in Janguza, which I call custodial village, can accommodate 3,000 inmates. And they are is broken to awaiting trial inmates medium security inmates, maximum security inmates, and death cell with everything about that. But that is about custodial. That facility to has five standard courtrooms, five in situ. Besides numerous recreational facilities, it has a well-built and strong medical center, spiritual facilities for Muslims and Christians, well-designed, well-provisioned kitchen and dining, life center where trades, functional studies and academics can be effectively had and well manicured uh, environment landscaped and very very importantly is converting human waste into biogas for cooking for the inmates. What is not yet there is alternative solar energy with time to come and is properly secure. Close to it, not too far from it, is a whole military garrison. And part of what is going to be there will be fire station, police post, civil defense post, and effectively located observation towers within and outside the facility. Is is state is indeed a state of the art high capacity complex for correctional service and custodial facility. It meets every inch of rehabilitative, restorative, reformative custodial facility. There is no aspect of it that is left out. The 3,000 capacities uh, has been approved, approved by the federal government of Nigeria is or have been located in six centers. One of such is in Janguza, in which was commissioned 
and the significance of that one is in the first place it will ease or reduce the issue of congestion in our correctional centers as you might have known most of our, of our facilities nationwide are highly congested so the issue of uh, Yanguza will at least minimize that issue of congestion. That is the first place. Secondly, the center in Yanguza uh, has been was being provided with a number of modern facilities, and as such, it paved way for our inmates to be uh, reformed and rehabilitated. Thirdly, in the center we have courts. It is that pro pro problem, and at the same time bring about what we call uh, a delivery system of justice. Part of it may also be part of uh, vocational training. In most cases, you see, what, what we, part of our duty in the service, that is NCOS, is to ensure that we rehabilitate a reformed image. Part of that information is the issue of vocation. And the facility we have is established so as to provide more uh, services to inmates, training in terms of vocation, in terms of education, and generally. Our crew took a tour of Kano State, sampling individual opinion on managing offenders in custody. Well, I think uh, the correctional service has been uh, one of the critical sectors in crime control because when you identify criminals, you arrest them, you prosecute them, the end result is going to the hands of the correctional services. And uh, let me congratulate the service too by this change of name because it sounds more positive than the word prison, uh, which scares anybody even coming there. But the new name, which is a very welcome development, correctional service, as a teacher and as a guidance counselor myself, uh, I was most pleased when this change came because uh, punishment is meant to be corrected. Uh, if you commit a crime, it doesn't mean you must be crushed, you must be finished, you must be extinguished. The whole purpose is supposed to be corrective. Uh, End result so that it will serve as a deterrent to others. Uh, if you come out of the correctional uh, detention areas and services to become a better state. So I think uh, the correctional service uh, agency has been contributing. Of course, we are aware of the difficulties they run through. Uh, you have been overstretched, the service has been overstretched, and uh, with the new dimension of challenges managing overcrowded environments and uh, dilapidated facilities and uh, of course uh, paucity of funds like any other agency. But I think the correctional services uh, must be commended. So far so good I must say. Bigger facilities and of course I'm sure uh, the facilities there will be containing some modern facilities, some training facilities. So uh, it's a very welcome development and I think uh, Kano is pleased to be housing one of the six geopolitical zones allocated to have this uh, 3,000 capacity original facility. The prayer is that many more such facilities will be provided so that anybody who committed a crime and ended up in the correctional facility, we expect them to come out as better citizens. Uh, and the only way they will come out as better citizens is when they get to the hands of the correctional services, they will be treated well, they will be exposed to the environment. So we expect the facility uh, to make the inmates happier and the better citizens when they come out from their hearts. Uh, the correctional service set up in this my area has a lot of linkages. And it is the linkages that really affect my people. First of all, 
this place will provide employment. Some directly, some indirectly. You see, the general advice to any institution that has come to live with the people is that live peacefully with the people. I think they have an adage, when you go to Rome, do as the Romans do. So you should educate your personnel who would work there to ensure that they maintain good relationship with both the village head, the world heads, the people, the community in general. I think this is our expectation that we will live very happily with you, help one another. And I can assure you of the cooperation of my people when it comes to that. Long awaited ultra modern custodia center has eventually come to be as it was commissioned virtually on Friday, 26th May 2023 by the former president Muhammad Buhari. I'm delighted to be commissioning projects. This time I'm commissioning a 3,000 capacity ultra modern custodia center, John Guza. The city southern capacity ultra modern custodial center facility in Jenguza, Cardinal State is both timely and significant. Recognizing the importance of a DRI justice system, of which correction is a critical component. The importance of a viable correction in this is critical not only for executing court sentences, thereby completing the justice process, but also for keeping elements out of circulation, securing the society, and deterring those who intend to act in an anti-social manner. This facility will not only enhance the well-being of inmates, but will engender their safe custody and significantly address the challenge of overcrowding in some custodial centers. The space of the speech of violence, external attacks on some custodial centers across the country in the recent past underscores the need to fortify and take the security of the inmates and staff to be of uttermost importance. I wish to commend the Minister of Interior and the Controller General of Corrections for remaining focused. This will certainly be a game changer in giving care and support for inmates. Join us again next week for another interesting package. Thank you for your time. Until then, it's bye for now.